Hello and welcome. Ever wondered how well GitHub Copilot helps with Unity development? In this video, I'll test it by using Copilot to create a simple Unity script that moves a cube up and down and changes its color. Let's see how it performs. Create a new 3D Unity project. Add a cube to the scene. Add a plane to simulate ground. Great, now we're all set to have some fun with our game. Select cube, add new script component. Name it cube script. Create new script folder and move cube script into it. In this tutorial, I'm using Visual Studio Code to integrate GitHub Copilot. However, you can use any code editing tool that supports Copilot. Open Visual Studio Code. Make sure GitHub Copilot is installed and enabled in your IDE. Open Copilot chat window. Perfect, now we can ask our co-pilot to do the job for us. First let us ask him to move the cube up and down every one second. After thinking few seconds, I got the result. Now click on the apply button to apply entire suggestion codes to the script. Perfect, let's save. Press play in Unity to test. The cube moving up and down smoothly every one second, awesome. Now let's change the cube's color to green. When it reach the top position. So, let us copilot to update the code. I got the answer, let apply. Something wrong. It did not work. The color still the same as default. Let come back and check the code. I notice that the cube have mesh renderer component, but the code just referenced to renderer component. Perhaps this is the problem. I ask the copilot to update. Still the same. Let try to add custom material and assign to the cube. Nothing changed. Let's assign the color to the cube at the beginning of start. Not working. Let's try to remove the code inside update function. Cool. The cube changed color to green, but it's not moving. So, I guess something went wrong in the update function. Let undo. 
Maybe the cube could not get top position. So I'm trying to reduce the compare value. Not working. Another reason maybe it updates too fast, so we cannot see the color change to green. So I asked Copilot to delay 0.5 second when it changed to green. Apply the change. Still the same. Okay, let's try one more time with Copilot, but this time we stop moving when it reaches the top position. Did not work. Let's try to ask him rewrite entire script. Yes, it worked. The cube moved to top position and changed color to green and stop. So, how did GitHub Copilot perform? Overall, it provided a solid starting point, but some tweaks were needed. It's a great assistant but not perfect. Always review and refine the code. If you enjoyed this test, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on what we should try next. See you in the next video.